Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cut Creative and today I'm going to show you how to easily give your Squarespace header navigation a transparent or clear background. We're going to go over Squarespace 7.1 and Squarespace 7.0 Brine template. If you're not sure if you're on version 7.1 or 7.0 or if you're not sure which 7.0 template you're using, we've linked some resources down below to find out. So do that first and then follow along with whatever tutorial suits. So in Squarespace 7.1, there's two things we need to look at. Number one is if you want to make the header transparent over a background image or a background video. So I'll show you how to do that now. It's super quick and easy. Click edit and then hover over this top area and click edit site header. Then you'll want to click on style and there will be an option here for some different styles. So right now ours is set to dynamic and that technically should put your header on top of whatever background image you've got or background video. So whether you want it over a background image or video, the dynamic selection should do that. I'll just quickly run through the other ones. So the theme will relate to whatever color theme you choose. The gradient sort of is a nice halfway point between transparent, but you can also get this nice gradient and you can change the color of the navigation. You can blur the background. There's lots of fun things you can play around with there. So definitely check that out. And then there's just solid. So this is just a solid color. And again, you can also reduce the opacity and play around with the colors. So there's a ton of different options there, but if you just want full transparent, go with dynamic. The dynamic header actually uses the theme, like the color theme of the first section of each page. So if I then click out of the edit site header and come to just edit the first section on this page, you'll see that if I change the color, the menu changes. So just keep an eye on each of your pages and make sure you have the color themes set up to how you want and make sure that the text is working with that color theme. Now, the other option that I want to touch on is if you have a gallery section at the top of your page, instead of just a section with a background image or video, a gallery section is a little bit different. So when you add sections to your 7.1 site, you can add a few different types of sections. You can add your regular section that just uses blocks. You can add a list section, which is like a content list, or you can add a gallery section. So if you click add section, click on gallery and you'll see all of the different gallery sections. I wanted to cover this full width slideshow because I know this is really common at the top of pages and Squarespace actually doesn't have a built in way to put the navigation on top of this section. So we have used a little bit of code, which I have included in the blog post for this video. The link for that will be below this video if you're watching on YouTube or if you're on our blog already, just scroll down and you'll find the code within the blog post. It should be pretty easy to see and it's just a really simple copy and paste. But basically I've just added a full width slideshow to this top section. So if I click on edit section, you can see all of my gallery settings here. So you can adjust this however you need. And for my top edit site header settings, I've changed the style also to dynamic. So if I've got that on dynamic. Then the final step is adding that custom CSS. So under design, custom CSS, I have this tiny bit of code here. So I'll show you what it looks like when I remove it. You can see that the slideshow for some reason doesn't go under the menu, even if it's set to dynamic. But all you need to do is just add that little piece of code, which is in the post. And basically it just removes that padding from the top of the gallery and moves it right up. So feel free to use the code, adjust it any way you like to suit your header design. Now we're going to jump over to 7.0 and we're going to be in the brine template for this example. So if you're not sure what 7.0 template you're using, make sure to follow the instructions. We've linked those below the video as well, all about either which version you're using. And then if you're using 7.0, which 7.0 template you're using, because the instructions we're about to give you are for brine family templates and they might not work depending on your template. Now we're only going to go over brine today and there are a ton of different 7.0 templates. So if you are using something else, definitely have a look in the same place that we're going to show you in this tutorial, but there's so many different options and I can't do a tutorial for every single different template. So if we go into design site styles, 
In any 7.0 template, generally this is where you're going to find anything that's going to help you make that header area transparent. So depending on your template, it might work a little different than what I'm about to show you, but you should still have a good look in this site styles area because there's a 99% chance that if it is possible on your template, you're gonna be able to do it somewhere in this menu. If you can't find anything in this menu, maybe it's not built into your template and it might take a little bit of custom code to make that menu transparent. Anyway, let's dive into Brine. So if you're not too familiar with Brine, I do think that they have made this part quite confusing, but that's because there are so many options for what you can do with the header navigation in Brine actually so many more than we had in 7.1. So it's really cool. But to make a full transparent header, you do kind of have to know how to do it. So let me show you. So we're gonna scroll down until we find header layout. So you can see header top here. So header top in the Brine language basically means header above. So that's how I like to think about it. Basically, this is all of the settings for your header if it's sitting above your content. Now what we can do is actually, we can actually move that content to header bottom, which actually means your header information is sitting down here. So it's sitting on top of your content rather than above your content. And I'll show you that now. So this is the settings for header top. And if we come to header layout, down to branding position, you're gonna see from here down on all the settings, top center, top left, top right, top, top, top. So basically that means all of these elements we've positioned in the top. So what we need to do is we need to actually position these to the bottom. So I'm gonna just change everything to the same as they are, but bottom instead of top. So I'm gonna go bottom center, primary nav, I'm gonna go bottom left, secondary nav, I'm gonna go bottom right, search position can stay on hide and cart position. You'll see when I move the cart to the bottom right, the whole header top menu disappears because all of the elements are now set to the bottom. So as soon as you bring those elements down to the bottom, AKA sitting on top of your content, that whole header top area is gonna disappear. So if I scroll up, you'll see now that some of the header top settings are missing and there's some new settings for header bottom. So if you didn't really know how to do that, it's not very intuitive, it's a little bit confusing, but hopefully that makes sense now. And now the really cool thing about Brine templates is that you have primary and secondary navigation, meaning that you can actually have two different navigations. And also the positioning of this is really advanced, so you can put some stuff up the top if you want and then some stuff down the bottom. So for example, you might want to keep your cart in the top right and maybe you wanted to turn your search to the top right also then maybe if i scroll up i'm just going to reduce that padding for the heading menu so it's nice and small so that doesn't look great but it is an example of how you can have some stuff down the bottom and some stuff up the top and you can even split the two navigations so i could have the primary nav top left and you can have the secondary nav maybe bottom left so we have some at the top some at the bottom and that's how essentially you can make a transparent navigation or you can split it up and have some at the top and some transparent so hopefully that was helpful for you if you are using squarespace 7.1 or brine like I said, if you're using a different template and you're looking for those settings, just have a good look through your site styles because that's most likely where you'll find it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.